Hello and welcome along to another video from me, Bicycle Ben, taking a look at a new piece of shared use infrastructure that's been installed recently on Coventry Road in Nuneaton. This has come about as part of a couple of new industrial units that have been installed and we're going to approach that shared use path just now. There's no good feed into this, this new shared use space which didn't exist in any form before. Um, so we're just going to come in off this uh, on this Toucan Crossing, which isn't ideal from a conflict perspective. And straight away, we're going into a new Toucan Crossing. Um, again, not great from the conflict perspective. Also, near side signals makes visibility of the um, crossing status very difficult on approach. As we cross the, uh, the, uh, the crossing, we're presented with a narrowing effectively of the shared use space because we've got this lamppost which is intruding into the tarmac when there's plenty of space behind it for uh, for that to be offset and indeed in a few moments you'll see that uh, lampposts are set in an offset position as we go further along uh, we approach a bus stop here. There's no real reason as far as I can see why this could not have been a floating bus stop arrangement allowing people to cycle behind the bus stop. As it is, we've got the potential for conflict with people who are boarding or alighting from buses. We can see as we go along this shared use path and take a look at these lampposts, these ones are offset out of the, uh, the tarmac. So why these ones can be moved backwards and the one at the start of this stretch and the one coming up at the end of this stretch can't be offset to maintain that full width of tarmac well that's anyone's guess and there we can see the uh, the last lamppost on this stretch intruding into the space we're now approaching another crossing of a road that's obviously not yet complete but imagining it was where well, you've got quite a head turn to check for any approaching vehicles and we also don't have a level crossing arrangement here um, in my opinion, it would be better to make sure that the shared use path was maintaining its continuity across the side road, presenting as a speed bump for drivers. Then we carry on, we get a narrowing of the shared use path. Maybe what was 4 metres is now 3 metres, so less space. Bearing in mind, this can be uh, mixed with pedestrians and with cyclists in all directions. And then we come up to this particularly strange sign that we see here, the cyclist dismount sign. Now this is the limit of the scheme, so anything beyond this you can't expect to have been redeveloped. But it is particularly galling that we have a cyclist dismount sign here, um, and you'll see why in just a minute. But I'm not going to dismount here, I can see straight ahead, there's nobody here, there's nobody around, there's no danger in carrying on uh, on this path, so carry on I will. Because... As you can see on the carriageway here, cyclists are actually instructed to leave the carriageway and join what is older shared use path provision at the roundabout itself. And if we just carry on a little bit further, we can also see the little roundel that indicates that we're now on shared use space. So we actually have about 45 metres of undesignated um, footpath effectively, where technically we shouldn't be riding, but anyone in their right mind is just going to carry on along that 45 meter stretch because why wouldn't you? Bearing in mind this was installed within the last year, bearing in mind I also put in a number of comments about the uh, provision of cycle facilities on this road as part of the new development of those industrial uh, units that went up there, this is particularly disappointing. There's no reason this couldn't have been done much, much better. Even as a shared use space, there is improvements that could be done here. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Bicycle Ben uh, over on Twitter, Bicycle Ben UK, over on Facebook, facebook.com slash Bicycle Ben UK, and on Mastodon, mast.2 slash Bicycle Ben.